Hey, it's me, Christina Carpenter. Thank you for being here. So glad you're with me today. And today I'm going to be talking about self-publishing. And do you need to self-publish ASAP? I mean, as soon as possible, then this episode is for you. So what do we need to do to get you self-published as soon as possible? Well, the first step is to write. Are you writing? Get writing because writing is the first step to getting self-published. Time block your time for when you're gonna write it because whatever gets scheduled gets done. Write while you're traveling, write on the weekends, Write during your downtime, early mornings, lunchtime, after dinner. Make the commitment to yourself and just do it. Don't overthink it. Get a group of support. Join writers groups, join writers conferences, anything that inspires you to take action on your own projects. Don't leave yourself alone to write on your own because if you can't motivate yourself, you're gonna need support. So I suggest finding a writing group, finding a writing support group, finding writing groups on Facebook or Instagram, or find other writers that you can connect with and feel supported so that you'll feel inspired to finish your own book. And then to write your book faster, if you need to speak it, do that. If you're not a typer, you don't like sitting at a computer, then speak your book. Speak it as if you're talking to the reader. And that's how you get your book done. You can use memos, you can use recorders on your phone to record your voice, download it, and then get it transcribed so that you can just extract the words and use the words for your book. So go for it. And then next, organize your writing. Use bubble maps, um, make charts, make connections between everything that you're saying so that it will all make sense and then you can organize it into chapters. Always organize your chapters before you start writing so that you know the path you're taking and how fast you can get it done. Because when you see the path you have to write, you see the path you have to take, then you will know what's the next step and how fast you can get it done. And once you know that, you can, you can create a deadline for when you're gonna have it done, all right? So go for it. And here's some tips to save money on writing your book. I would suggest self-editing yourself. You can always use software such as Grammarly or ProWriting Aid and self-edit yourself. And then when you're ready, get a professional editor. You can find them on Fiverr or Upworks. Also, you can format your book with uh, software. If you just look up formatting software, you can find formatting software so that you can format your book yourself. You don't have to pay someone to do it for you. And especially if you're going to write more than one book, it's always good to invest in a software that will do formatting for you so that you can format your own books. So you don't have to pay someone. And then another thing you can do to save money is to get an illustrator such as on um, on Fiverr or Upwork, you can get an illustrator for your book if you need illustrations or if you need a cover design, you can always use Upwork or Fiverr and just give them an idea of the direction you want to go in with your cover and they can design something for you. And you get what you pay for, so try to spend a little bit of money to get a, a, nice, a nice cover. Also, if you want to turn a blog into a book, you can do that with Designer, which is a, is a program you can find online called D-E-S-I-N-G-N-R-R, D-E-S-I-G-N-R-R, Designer. You can turn your blogs, if you have a blog, into a book. So if you have a couple of articles that kind of go together, you could turn it into a book. So that's an idea for turning your blog into a book in a cost-effective way. You can also create eBooks, um, and you could do that also on Fiverr. And then another thing is to, uh, to, to write your book faster if you podcast it. You could podcast stories and um, insights and then turn that into content for your book. So there's always fast and easy ways to do things. So you could either podcast your content or blog your content and then later on turn it into a book. As long as you're keeping the momentum with it, you could turn all of that into a book. 
and there's no reason why you can't. And if it's inspired people and helped people, it's definitely worth the wait and worth the try to turn it into a book. So there's so many ways to reinvent content and turn it into a book that you can monetize and sell and impact more people with your words and your insights. And another uh, piece of advice is you don't need to write a, a 300 page book. You don't need to write a 700 page book. I'm just kidding. But I'm just saying you don't have to write long books because people don't have time to read as much as they usually do. So you could go shorter. Shorter books are punchier. They're faster to read. They're more inviting to read because people are like, okay, I can do this. So if you write a book that's not too long and makes people want to read it because it's not too long it's more inviting and you can get straight to the point you don't have to be long-winded in your book so that's another suggestion which will also decrease your word count for editing and all that process so a shorter book is better you don't have to be long a book is still a book and it's still going to impact someone's life so that's my advice to you today on planning to get your book self-published asap if you want to get your book self-published ASAP, you can always email me at christina at thekeytoface.com. And I would love to support you if you have something you would like me to read and you want some a little direction, a little feedback, a little advice on what you're writing. I'm so happy to, to help you. I would be so happy to read whatever you started writing. If you have an introduction, if you have some chapter titles that you want some um, in feedback on, I definitely could give you feedback on that. So just contact me at christina at thekitafaith.com and I'd be glad to assist you. And that's all for now. So if you are looking to self-publish, I would be glad to help you. If that's your desire, just contact me at my email, as I said, and let's start working on that book and getting done ASAP. <laughs>